I feel like a koala bear at the zoo and I'm just looking at this lens. It's like, what is it? My puppy does that. I have a little labradoodle and she, when I try to take her picture, she does this. You know, I've been called a lot of things, but right here in Washington, D.C., I'm known as Coach Murphy of the Washington Castles. I have the unbelievable honor of coaching uh, the greatest world team tennis team uh, in the history of world team tennis and maybe the game with both Williams sisters on it. Arena Rodionova from Russia, Bobby Reynolds from Atlanta, Georgia. We have almost 70 Grand Slam titles on this team and I have a philosophy of if we win, it's the coaching. If we lose, it's them. It's the players. All right, move it. But my day-to-day -day operations pretty much go like this. It's, it's wrangling cats. It's getting them to work together as a team. It's getting this team to gel and get along and, and to through thick and thin to, to, to never give up on each other. My background with DC goes back to, God, 1984, five? and I was invited to the White House. Well, what am I doing at the White House? I'm playing tennis with Vice President at the time, President Bush 41. I'm about to wet my pants. That led to a friendship, and, and then even when Clinton was in office, when my brother and I won our last ATP Tour uh, professional title, it was here in Washington. Washington, D.C. is rich in tennis history. So for me to, to be affiliated with a rich tennis town like this and to be coaching this team is an honor and a privilege. Good. Oh, Murphy,